Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. Got a question. When's the last time anyone heard about Fukushima? Hmm? For months, what did we hear? Radcon 5, Radcon 4, Radcon 3, West Coast, East Coast, Central Coast. <laughs> I'm not laughing at what we heard. I'm just laughing that we haven't heard a damn thing about Fukushima for, I don't know, five, six months. That was all we heard. They showed us video after video after video of the meltdown. They told us that the West Coast is dying. They told us that the Pacific Ocean is dying. They told us that animals are coming out of the sea that we've never seen before. Day after day, week after week. Huh? Now what are they talking about? Well, Ebola. Ebola. And before we had Fukushima, what do we have? We had Benghazi. Before Benghazi, what do we have? We had Sandy Hook. Before Sandy Hook, what do we have? I mean, it goes on and on and on. What they do is they captivate our attention. And it's all bullshit. I mean, when's the last time you heard anything about Fukushima? Hmm? I know, I posted a whole lot of videos about Fukushima and I attached links that showed the meltdown of the nuclear reactors, that talked about the horrific events that are taking place in our oceans, that talked about no one should eat seafood out of the Pacific. When's the last time you heard any of that? Folks, are you sort of getting the picture? Huh? This administration jacks us around. That's what they do. ISIS, the beheadings, I mean, there's always something. Do you remember before this creep came into the White House? None of this took place. Yeah, an event occurred here, an event occurred there, but not for weeks on end. They just drag it and milk it and drag it and milk it. And that's what they're doing about this Ebola. Not one of those patients had Ebola. Now, they might have had the virus. That, I don't know. But not one had Ebola. I don't even believe they know how the virus is passed along. But you know what? You need to stop listening to the crap that they spew at you. Because that's all it is. Distract, divert, to deceive. That's all they do. Right before the most critical and important election in this country's history, what do they do? Ebola! Nancy Wright Ebola. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas Duncan. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, folks. It's really sad. They lie to us. They terrorize us. You wonder how many people have had heart attacks based on the level of anxiety that this government builds throughout the country. You wonder. I'll guarantee you people have died because of the stress that this administration has placed upon them with all these lies, like the Benghazi lies. It's a sad, sad state of affairs, folks. And you know what? I don't see it changing. Either does, buddy.